Okay, I got this going. I'm running this coil and this coil in series. It uh, is running on about very right about there. Can you see that? About 50, 60 milliamps. And uh, here's something interesting. I have it in the 20 amp setting right now. Can you see the numbers on there? And if I put it over in 200 milliamps, not 20, it shows uh, this much and it's negative, negative amps. So that's interesting. Maybe it's picking up what's going back, backwards. The uh, I'm only firing 14 magnets of the 28, and it's north-south, north-south, so I'm only firing one polarity. So that's just something kind of interesting with a meter. So it's drawing about that much, about 50 milliamps, let's say. It's going 250 RPM. And let's see what the voltage input is. 7.7 .7 volts. 7.7 .7 volts. 50 milliamps. That's all it's running on. Um, it's a little wobbly, unfortunately, but nothing's perfect. And this is not perfect, but I can make it better. And uh, what I want to do now is uh, 14 times a revolution pulse in, 14 times a revolution pulse, pulse out uh, with the uh, opposite polarity magnet lined up. And uh, hopefully when I hit a load pulsing out, with the flyback and the back EMF and the generated coils, generator coils, which is from here to here and here to here, it will uh, speed up when I hit a, hit a load with it. It was like that with my uh, Muller boat motor I made quite a few years ago. Uh, and I had the same thing. I had eight magnets, and I would only fire it four times a revolution, and then four times a revolution, I would uh, charge batteries with it. And when I hooked up to charge batteries, it would really speed up. So I want to do the same thing here. I guess that's the next step. Uh, after getting this rotor a little bit better trued. Okay, uh, so that's about it. I got it running, doing a little testing, and uh, thanks for watching.